What's going on, Chill with Dan Squad? It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video for y'all. So, we're going to check out Beyond Skin Straight JoJo Edition by none other than CJ the Chip. Now, if you haven't seen my uh, reaction to uh, the Baki edition of Beyond Skin Straight, make sure you go ahead and check that out because what Baki did when he was in prison, oh my god, that was absolutely wild. People that were in that prison, they were complete menaces, and I was like, yeah, I gotta do do another uh, video for y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Appreciate all the love, uh, support you guys have been showing me. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification every time I post. Let's get into the video. Coming up on this special programming of. Loco Baroco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. Alright everybody, that's the rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes, what about- Should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um, no sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor- It's just your ass to- <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally time to return to jail. I beg your pardon? Goddamn prison! Cause Jolene has been locked up. <laughs> so yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Green Dolphin Street Prison. Cause my God, this prison is out of pocket. This makes Alcatraz look like a daycare. But ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the aquarium as we will observe pure ignorance. <laughs> You punk ass, yeah, hook ass. Fatherless behavior. <laughs> and a priest beating in the name of the Holy Spirit on this special programming of. Beyond Scared Street, JoJo Edition. Let's get to it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So we're probably all wondering, alright, so uh, how did our boy Jotaro's daughter end up getting locked up? Well, obviously, we have to start from the beginning. So we start off in these holding cells, and they talking about Master- What? I beg Whoa. your pardon? Something about the moonlight going in through the shape of the window box. <laughs> this can't be happening Ain't right no now. Way, this is the first scene of the season, and they already talking about- Yes. In this unsanitary ass cell. And then old girl talking on the left like, oh, y'all some nasty ass hoes, ain't you? Then Jolene start talking and she like, uh-uh-uh, don't be talking, boo-boo. I could tell just by your finger. You in here for oh. And some people really wonder why this show was called JoJo's Bizarre yep. Adventure. So then old girl like, oh, so you really like that. So uh, how did you end up in here? Jolene Cujo, 19 years old. I'm in here for stealing and hit and run. Miss Cujo, uh, can you please explain to me your situation right now? First of all, man, I'm innocent, so let's get that straight. Well, I'm sorry, man, but if I'm reading this correctly, it says back when you were 14, you had two burglary charges? <laughs> Times are rough. That's what happens when your dad leave you at 14. Okay, okay, well, can you just please explain the situation? Well, you see, what had happened was me and my nigga Romeo was riding down the street. Now, I thought he was real cute, man, even though his barber this shit up right before he picked me up. I don't know what he was going for, but Miss Cujo, please get back to the situation. Uh, my bad, Chief. So, uh, long story short, we ended up hitting a nigga. So I'm trying to call 911, but Romeo said, Jolene, don't do it. Homie already dead. So let's get his body and shove his ass in the trunk. So obviously I'm freaking out and everything, but then he said, Jolene, listen, I'm Romeo and you my Juliet. So stop acting weird and shit and let's shove the mother in the trunk. So we shoved him in the trunk and that's why I'm here. Okay, so what you're telling me is Romeo hit the victim, right? I ain't telling you nigga, I ain't no fed. <sighs> Yo funeral then. So while they're still talking, he ends up giving her this tray and on this tray is a pendant and he says it's from her dad. So obviously she like, my dad, that bum ass, I don't want this shit. But then the pendant ends up plucking her. And well, we all know what happens in JoJo when something weird hits you. Like, let's say a mask or an arrow. So after this, she ends up getting transported over to the prison. And then she meets old girl again. Y'all know what the f going on? It's your girl, Ermes. This my second time in here. And for this offense, I'm in here for robbing the 7-Eleven across the street. 
So then she starts telling Jolene, girl, I hope you got some money on you. If you ain't got no Benjamins on you, you gonna turn into a pack. And bruh, she got it stitched in there. She said, I got five 20s in one and 50 in the other. So they tell Jolene to get off. So when she gets off, she can still hear the people in the bus. And the officers are trying to rob Hermes. So she take out the 20 in her head, but they like, hey, Shawty, that ain't gonna be enough. So we're gonna have to take off them stitches. But then this thread ends up coming from Jolene's hand. The red ended up slicing oh. off homie's ear. Oh my god. So then after this, she ends up having her trial. And this is where it started to get wild. So the judge says, I see that you took this plea deal. But the thing is, the body that you disposed of, homeboy was still alive. So therefore, oh. you are an accessory to murder. So that'll be 15 years. Huh? Yeah, oh. then. Look at the lawyer, bruh, just let it happen. She like, wait a minute, this makes no sense. I struck a deal. And look at this middle earth elf ass acting like nothing happened. So he walks back and this whole time, homeboy was getting freaky with Romeo. Damn. So Jolene got packed up and she was sent off to the Green Dolphin Street prison. Yeah. So while she's going through intake, she ends up seeing the lawyer again. And look at her, she's like, ooh, I swear to God, I'm gonna choke the shit out of your ass. So while he's driving away, one of her threads come through his AC, and she ended up choking the nigga. Nah, bro, she really liked that. So then after this, we end up meeting the warden. Loco Barocco, I'm the warden here at Green Dolphin Street Prison, and this is my assistant, Charlotte. You have Charlotte as a as a puppet as your assistant. The, now it's now I understand why they call it Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. All right, everybody, that's the rundown of the prison. Are there any questions or concerns? Um, yes. What about? Hey, should I say to you to speak? Uh, uh, um, no, sir. That's what I thought. So do yourself a favor and shut your ass up! So then we end up meeting her cellmate, Gwes. So Jolene tries to put her stuff on the bottom bunk, but she throws a whole barbell at her. Damn. And look at her, the bottom bunk is mine, you nasty b You could take the top. But she ends up having the pendant, and there's this bird, and there is a literal person in there. So then she over here sitting on this bench yelling at this bird, and she ends up choking the life out of the bird. Yo, somebody call Peter. But Jolene ends up grabbing the bird, and that nigga is out of commission. So then Gwes comes over and grabs her like a titan. And she forces her to put on this rat suit so she can help her escape prison. So she makes Jolene run through this gate, but her body starts to grow again. So while she's running back to the gate, this ugly ass stand, oh my God, look like a gremlin. So she ends up getting stuck in this bar. So Goo Goo Dolls tries to jump up and kill her, but she ends up smacking that nigga. She's like, oh my God, is this, is this my stand? So she ends up rocking her and look at it. Oh, you really thought you was about to pull a fast one on a nigga, huh? Well, I'm about to beat you like my daddy, bitch. Yeah. Damn. She is beating the life out of her. So yeah, bro, she was done. And she took the bottom bunk for my ass. Made her sorry ass take the top bunk. So then the next day, Jolene yeah. over by the phone. Day Jolene over by the phones. And this girl come over over and ask her for some money. And she's saying she'll pay it back. So she give up some spare change but then quest come back over and she like jolene girl what the hell are you doing giving your money out like that that's how you become a bitch. you best go get your money back or you're gonna be looking like her a bitch. so jolene goes and tracks her down and asks her for the money back but then the girl says didn't i say i'll pay you back why would you nigga does your brain now work or something because obviously you can't process so Jolene walked back and she like, all right then. So she ends up putting some laxatives in her coffee. So she went up to the bathroom because she got a doo-doo, but Jolene sitting in the bathroom. So she like, okay, I'm sorry. I'll give you your money back. You know what? I'll even double it. So she come out and smack the bitch. She like, sold. Now give me that $10. Appreciate doing business with you. So then as she yeah. walking over to the door, she sees this baseball and then she sees this little boy. So then the kids start talking and saying, you will have a visitor but do not meet the visitor. 
So then after this, the kid disappears and this guard comes over and smacks him in the head. Bro said, what you doing looking at a ghost bitch? Oh, I'll show you Casper. <laughs> So then the next day, homeboy come back and he started antagonizing her. He like, oh, sorry for yesterday. I mean, I didn't mean to hit you that damn hard, but uh, you was touching the bars and I had to follow the rules. My <laughs> oh, and by the way, you got a visitor. So she goes to see the visitor and it's none other than Joe Taroku, Joe. I am him. Don't play with me nigga. on the dead op deal on Jonathan Joe Star's heavenly grave. I am him. So Jolene looking at him and she like, oh, hell nah. So she socks the security guard and she like, oh, so it looks like you finally came back from that grocery trip. Did you ever get the milk, nigga? Cause damn, it took you long enough. But Jotaro's just looking at her like, little girl, shut the f up and sit down. Listen, you were framed. My homeboy right here. You wanna know why you were framed? Because you are Joestar. Our family been having ops since the 1800s. So Jolene goes up to the door, but her handcuffs are off and she ended up getting shot. <laughs> But well, luckily she ended up stopping it. So John Gallier's stand Manhattan transfer is like literal wall hacks with a ricochet effect. Look at homeboy posted up in his cell sniping. So the security guard gets up and he ends up doming the security guard. Oh my God, first face Gabby and now face John Gallier. God damn, like who's next face Usopp? So later on, they end up figuring out that this is a whole illusion. And what is all of this? Did somebody bust a lot? Nope, nope, nope. Nah, Dude, bro. I, I got a dirty mind. Nope, we ain't doing this shit today. Nah, so then they bro. escape the room, but then a guard approaches. And then another guard approaches. And the first one pops a cap in his ass. And they're like, wait a damn minute. Ain't no way. It's that Gaffey's Gallier. Homie came in with the close combat because he was missing his shots. So homie starts blasting. So Jotaro has to use Star Platinum. But then this stand ends up coming behind him. Bro says, hmm. Looks like you've fallen into my trap. Witness the power of white to snake. So bro pimp slaps him. And these discs come out of my boy's head. Bro oh. basically stole my dude's rooms. And now he getting shot. Oh my God. So then Jolene puts him in a spin cycle and starts beating his ass. And look at Jotaro. He's like, hmm, looks like my daughter's beating some ass. Looks like I've done a great job as a father. Now I'm about to pass help. So Jolene takes him outside, but it looks like our boy is down for the count, but there is still hope. So she starts talking to the kid again, and he basically says, yo dad got his soul snatched. So we learned the kid's name is Emporio, and bro grew up in the prison. He was born here. He was raised here. Oh my what? God. This nigga's Bane. I was born in it, molded by it. So we go back to face John Gallier after he got his ass beat. So White Snake pull up and he's like, hmm, looks like you got your ass beat. So therefore, you're kicked from phase. So after this, Jolene ended up getting another five years added onto her sentence because of that escape. And she got stuck in the punishment war for like <laughs> weeks. So a few weeks ended up passing. So they got everybody outside to so the warden like, all right, everybody listen to f up. We had two inmates go missing the other day. So uh, somebody needs to go find their asses. So Jolene volunteers in armies as well because she's like, hmm, have to tell her about my side quest. So they have to put these bombs on their wrists like they're the suicide squad or something. So the guard says, what? if you get 50 meters away from me, yo ass goes boom, boom. So he what? ends up getting on a four wheeler and he takes off. So they like, wait a damn minute. Hold on, homeboy, you going a little too fast. So later on, Hermes ends up catching up to Jolene. So she's like, hmm, what's up girl? I got to tell you about my side quest. So you see what had happened was, I got this new stand called Kiss. It's like some stickers, like some arts and crafts and shit. So I ended up beating this dude with a broom, and then I fought the same janitor. His name was McQueen, and he was trying to off himself. And every time he did that, the same thing happened to me. I even offered him my panties, but I guess he didn't want no coochie. I also met the little nigga with the baseball cap, so uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now. So later on, while they walking, the guard comes in and tries to antagonize him. So bro starts messing with him and tries to make him fall in crocodile doo-doo. Like, bro, what is wrong with these guards? And also, there are now six prisoners out there, and they started off with five. So somebody is an imposter. So then the bombs start beeping, and they look over at the officer, and then gone. And then a girl in the back, like, wait a minute, why is mine beeping faster? Hold on. What the fuck? Is she dead? Oh my god. That's gotta be one of the most tragic deaths I've ever seen. You really died to a wrist bomb. So they pull up on them and they like, all right, all three of y'all nasty motherfuckers, freeze. One of y'all is a stand user, so who is it? Fess up. So Jolene ends up smacking this one girl. 
The army's like, girl, why you hit her like that? And Jolene said, hmm, shit, I don't know. I'm just going to drop all their asses. But then this one girl grabs her and all three of them start talking. <laughs> what in the uh? Invader Zim is that? So then a Stan starts talking like, my name is Foo Fighters. Put some respect on my name, nigga. How dare you disrespect my set and run up on my lake? So homeboys start moving like an exoskeleton. Ugh. So then Jolie starts chasing after him. And then he's like, oh, I see you trying to get these discs. Well, uh, too bad, you nasty bitch. But then she started making the tractor move and the disc are taking off with it. So homeboy hit the jets. He's like, my precious disc. How dare you hit a lick on me? But the dirt ended up slowing him down and homeboy was done for. So then Hermes was about to throw some dirt on him. But then Jolie stops. She's like, ah, 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 stop. We're going to keep him. So Hermes is like, you want to keep this ugly ass peanut head ass, green bean looking ass girl alive? We should feed this water type Pokemon ass to the crops. But Jolene said, no. I hereby announce this severed head of a water type Pokemon, a Jobro. So they end up finding Star Platinum's disc. But then the girl that got blown up earlier then pulled what? back up. And she like, hold on. She got blown up. How in the hell did she survive that shit? That's that's crazy. Oh, and it's your trusty homegirl Foo Fighters. I just went ahead and just took over the dead girl body with this old pineapple head ass haircut. She got had a leaf on her head. So they end up getting picked up by all the cops. So later on that evening, we see White Snake in the shed. And then we see the user. Father Poochie, I spend the block in the name of the Lord. I am that good. Father, I was wondering if I could get parole. <laughs> parole? You must be out of your damn mind. But father, I, 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 don't speak until I tell you to speak, bitch. Yes, father. Now then, sister, have you paid your tithes and offerings this month? Um, no, father. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, nah, boo boo, that ain't gonna do. Have you taken your communion this month? Um, no, father. Oh, sweet Lord, heavenly Jesus, we got a sinner. But father, I promise you to pay. Shut up. Oh. My, my, my. From the streets, did she emerge? into the streets she shall return and i say unto you she is for the streets so be not worried when she must return from when she can nigalations chapter one verse one through three drill that into your head bitch. so later on while they outside playing catch this one girl starts sipping on ff water so she like hey go get your nasty ass busted ass 360 ways away from my goddamn water so they keep on playing catch and the girl that poochie beat up pull up and she like i bet y'all a hundred dollars y'all won't last so jolene like hold on i ain't got that type of money she said it don't matter i'll take anything of value so jolene's like no but then armies comes up and she's like yo jolene we cannot pass this up you see how many racks she got in her sock we playing the game so they start playing the game but then foo fighters gets distracted she like hey away from my cup nigga so she almost dropped the damn ball but they end up making it to 100 so then she like i right, then i throw it 100 more times and i'll give you a whole band take it or leave it <laughs> hold on hold on wait a minute you telling me she got a whole band in prison how in the hell did that happen how can you like <sighs> i guess some people find find like sneaky ways to sneak money in their in their body which is crazy no way bro what type of operation is she running up in here so they playing for a thousand dollars now but it's starting to get late but then the guard come behind her he's like hey nigga time is up so put the damn ball down so she like okay here 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 i'll pay you for more time so he like all right then i'll be taking the glove though so she ends up almost dropping the ball but she picks it up with her stand ability but apparently that was against the rules so then old girl stan comes out stan was like pay your debt so it rips out the money that was stuck in her side boob. Then she like, hmm, that ain't enough. So I'll be taking your liver. <laughs> oh my God. Hurt my liver over looking at that. So Jolene and Foo Fighters start playing again so they can get her liver back. So they keep on running. So now they stuck on an elevator. So then she throw the ball up, but the security guard ends up catching the ball. Said, I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. Then look at the ugly ass. She's like, <laughs> game over, nigga. Now pay your debt, bitch. But then she ends up smacking her with the ball. She like, you really didn't think I would have a backup plan, did you? You should know my pickpocketing skill is maxed out. <laughs> Stupid ass. Now I'm about to beat you like my great grand uncle. <laughs> she made it rain up in that hole. So then the yep. next day she go over to use the phone. So the big old lunch lady like, hey, bitch, what the f Hold on, hold on, take a seat, boo boo. <laughs> Get real comfortable. Bitch, come here. 
Take a coat too, sister. <laughs> Stay blessed. So then she ends up calling the Speedwagon Foundation. So they like, all right, listen, we still got your dad body up in here. So if you want to give us that disc, meet us in the courtyard. So then she ended up walking up to this double chin looking guard. She got the Kodak going on and everything. So she started yelling, but then she saw that money. She said, you could pass. So then she sees Emporio again. He says, bring your ass over here. So then she ends up getting sent to this ghost room. She's like, hold on, what is going on? Why is homie in a piano right now? Weather report, I'm a certified meteorologist. And also this piano is comfortable as hell. So she's like, wait a minute, Emporio, so you're a stand user? Hell yeah, nigga, I'm Casper. Look, I could pull a whole bell out of my ass. I'm literally a video game character inventory. So they gonna try to get to the courtyard so weather report is gonna come along and help. And my God, homie getting real close. To hey, what's good with you? So they head into the courtyard and what is that? Oh no, nah, bro, look at him. Look at his shoes. This damn reject Spider-Man concept art. So while old doodle man's on the prowl, Jolene starts to float. So she's like, ah, his standability is zero gravity. So they end up following old doodle man to this room and he started to suck all the oxygen out of the room. Bro made the room a vacuum. So then weather report ends up making some cloud suits. And then they end up beating doodle man's ass. Thank God bro, get him off of my screen. Like yo, this man Lang Wrangler gives me absolute nightmares. Like when I think of the boogeyman, I think of this nigga. So then the door starts to open and Poochie is at the door. Bro, looking at Jolene like, my, my, if it isn't the fatherless child of Jotaro Kujo, should I beat her ass right now or let her pass? So she's like, please, father, let me pass. So he just looked at her and said, all right, then. I don't need to give up my identity yet. So she finally makes it to the courtyard. So she sees the dude. So she's thinking, oh my gosh, that's him. That's the contact. So she walks up to him and this man pulls out the blicky. Poochie's like, ha ha ha, stupid bitch. You really thought you was gonna get out of here with that disc? So we get a flashback to 1988, and this man Poochie is chilling with the biggest hater in anime history. This man Dio, the ultimate hating ass nigga. Bro's like, I wake up, breathe, and hate. You know who I really hate though? Them goddamn Joe stars. So Poochie ended up learning the ways of Dio to become an ultimate hating ass. So he could ascend to ultimate hating hood in heaven. So weather report is over here beat up and he's like, huh, I guess I have to use my final attack. So it starts raining. Breaking news out in Florida. It is literally raining frogs out there. I mean, it is Florida. <laughs> Are we surprised that like this happens? No, we aren't. So yeah, this man weather report literally started making it rain poisonous frogs. So this man Poochie's like, God, Damn, I got all this shit on my $800 pants, nigga. So he starts counting prime numbers to calm himself down. So Poochie sees his guard, he's like, hey, cut, open the door. But he starts running away, so he's like, you pussy. So he kicks the frog at dude and makes him go blah, yo. So he got the dude to open the door and he just left. So he walks outside to go get the disc from Jolene, but she was shielding herself the whole time. So she got the disc off to the bird that was the actual contact. So this man, Poochie, was pissed. He goes over to her and starts going crazy. Bruh said, oh, you think you did something, bitch? You ain't do jack shit, nigga. That's why your daddy did. And you will always be a fatherless ass child. So White Snake left. Jolene went to the ICU. And it was just another day at the Green Dolphin Street Prison. So yeah, that was Beyond Scared Straight JoJo Edition. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, also, one million subscribers. Thank y'all very much, man. It's very, it's just mind boggling to me. Like for real, like I'm just a dude that just likes to watch anime and talk about it. And it's just crazy to me, you know, that like we, we really up in here now. So uh, thank y'all so much, man. Uh, make sure y'all go. F yep. I really thought what Boggy did was was crazy, but this one is right above it. But what JoJo did, that was absolutely crazy. But that's gonna do it for the for this video. If you enjoyed this video so much, run up the likes, run up the views, comment down below what was your favorite favorite part of the of this uh, video. And if you're new to the, my channel, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit the bell notification every time I post. I appreciate the time you guys watching this video. This is Chill with Ant signing out.